Hi, I'm Anna Akana. Hi, I'm Weibo Jones. And I'm here to help women everywhere not get raped. And I'm here to help women everywhere sniff out bullshit like it's hot. Because it's totally our responsibility, right? Because if I don't state the obvious to preemptively counteract the inevitable actions of the lowest common denominator of humanity, then someone's gonna get hurt real bad, especially since this video is out there. The best form of rape prevention is to assimilate yourself into society as a man. Honey, that's cultural appropriation, and as a female who appropriates male culture on the daily, I can say for certain that that isn't even good cultural appropriation. You wouldn't make a very convincing reverse trap whatsoever. Now I know what you're thinking. Anna, rape does not just apply to women. This is true. She's right. According to the first statistic I could find in a Google search, about 3% of American men, or 1 in 33, have experienced an attempted or completed rape in their lifetime, and about 1 out of every 10 rape victims are male. Watch her brush that off, though, in the most blase example of downplaying a problem since Han Solo realized that Princess Leia kissed her own fucking twin brother in the first Star Wars series. Also watch as Anna Kana generalizes men as perpetually the rapist, even if they're definitely not, irregardless of the context of the situation. So to ensure the safety of your butt, spread a rumor that you yourself are a rapist, so other rapists will see you as a colleague. Watch as the delusional Anna Akana builds a corporate network fantasy of rapists under the overwatch of the narrative of rape culture in the West she has subscribed to, and then enact that very outrageous fantasy in real time only to fail outrageously and effectively defeat her own argument, strawmanning in the process. Hey fellas, how's them rapes looking lately? What? Yeah, you getting any good rapes, dog? Yeah, we're busy right now. Yeah. Busy yeah. thinking about the rape. Okay, we gotta get, we'll hey guys, come on, bro. Give rape, me some rape, rape tips, yeah, dog. Rape. I just want to have rape from you. Oh. Yo, we're friends, dog. Observe next how this Japanese, Filipino, Hawaiian, Irish, German, Spanish, French, and English woman encourages women without her very same Japanese, Filipino, Hawaiian, Irish, German, Spanish, French, and English privilege to utilize a form of protection that is beyond their privileged status. If you absolutely cannot pretend to be a man facading as a rapist, another expensive and fear-induced solution is to hire bodyguards. Will you protect me from rape? Yes, ma'am. We will. Effectively ignoring the potential disadvantages other marginalized women everywhere experience and further stereotyping another group of people in an offensive way that makes this entire demographic look undesirable. That sounds kind of familiar. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. Who on earth could she be talking about? But will you rape me? Yes, ma'am. We will. I'm just gonna call 911 really quick. This skit isn't even bad enough to be awkward funny like the room is. It takes itself way too seriously. At the same time, everyone knows that truly humorous generalizations are based in a grain of truth. Her jokes fall flatter than a 12-year-old girl's chest. Because these generalizations aren't even based in truth for this demographic at this time period. Perhaps if you shifted your view a bit, the humor wouldn't be as flat as Kylie Jenner's lips pre-temporary lip fillers. Try this one on for size. On Wednesdays in the Middle East, it is advisable for children and livestock to be kept indoors for the duration of the day due to a weekly festival derived from the popular Western phenomenon countries refer to as hump day. If your bodyguards aren't trustworthy, protect yourself the old American way. Excuse me, do you have the time? Now keep in mind that this is a Beretta 92FS, which can typically hold 15 rounds with extended mags, maybe 20 rounds. <laughs> No, I don't have the time for rape. In too many action movies. Those last two to three rounds put her at a few shots above extended mag capacity. And she wasn't even using an extended mag. She was, she was using a 15 round mag. If she really wanted to get us with humor, she probably would have pretended to shoot a 16th time, only to fail spectacularly because she wasn't counting. Also, bitch, in this outrageous hypothetical, I hope you policed your brows afterwards because otherwise we'll have an entirely different set of issues. Furthermore, you just shot a guy 20-odd fucking times in the chest for asking about the time. You've just violated several laws and emulated not a single legal responsible gun owner in the States. Not a one. It's not even a cringy attempt at humor, it's just pathetic. Here's a better time joke for you. Do you have the time? Uh, yeah, it's just about to turn 5 o'clock. Shit! Allah Akbar! Now that was funny and offensive. Go me, self-high-five. 
We've been conditioned our whole lives to not get raped. Actually, I've been conditioned my whole life to not be a fucking idiot. You know, drink plenty of water, get plenty of rest, eat three times a day, carry a knife on you for practical reasons, shit like that. I'm in college now and I haven't done anything monumentally stupid. I get piss faced at a frat party alone at three in the morning or walk home alone piss faced at three in the morning or give any male I've ever met any reason to believe that I'd be an easy target. Yeah. It's probably why I don't have that many friends. Oh well. Seems to be working out for me pretty well. <laughs> My dad put me in martial arts. Hey, same. I wonder if she made it to black belt status too. I mean, she did make less than a three minute video. So with all that spare time not being funny, you'd think that one could go out and get a black belt. But actually, you'd be surprised too. It, it, <laughs> it takes a lot of effort to get a black belt. Not, as, not necessarily as much as writing jokes though. My mom gives me knives and pepper spray. And despite the fact that I like that stuff, it's mostly for anti-rape. Hey, 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 hey. Knives have 1,001 uses, and none of them have to do with violence. A knife is a tool, not a weapon, not a toy. Get out of here with that nonsense. It's people like you that give knives stigma. As for the pepper spray, did you know that you could actually use it to season your food? Crazy, right? Although I wouldn't recommend using this stuff. It's got, um, it's got military grade tear gas in it and uh, UV identification dye for reasons. We're told by society, never walk alone at night, never walk down an alleyway. If you think you're being followed, make three right turns, because that means they just went in a circle. Okay, but these are also anti-mugging, battery, stalking tactics as well. Are you gonna make a video addressing how not to get burglarized and then butcher the fuck out of the delivery on those jokes too? Never run upstairs if you're being chased, because then you can get trapped. <sighs> well, fucking duh. I think Anna just has a thing against common sense, honestly. Maybe because she doesn't have any of her own and people need to keep telling her obvious stuff, like how to deliver a fucking joke, Anna. Don't stop if you see a car seat on the side of the road. Hey, here's some nail polish that'll help you identify date rape drugs. Sport this adorable yet fierce keychain so you can gouge someone's eyes out. Yeah, she definitely has an issue with common sense. And on and on and on. Just like this video. You know what would be better? If we just taught young boys that rape isn't even an option. <laughs> Fucking what? Not even an option. Why don't we just teach people the sky is blue, Anna? Huh? Huh? Why not that? <laughs> why, why not that you shouldn't jump out in front of a car unless you want your big bits to become smashed into little bits? All about that you shouldn't piss in the same place that you get your water from. We should just, we should just put fucking warning signs everywhere that say gravity effect may fall down or drop something because that would be fucking useful. Right, Anna? Right? Right? If we would stop victim shaming and slut shaming and excusing a rapist because of the clothes his victim wore or because they were on a date. I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything or say anything. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let my editing take care of this for me. Take it away, future me. Guess who's back, back, back again Shady's back, tell a friend yes. Please name the exact amount of times each of these examples has happened in the last 10 years along with the exact number of prosecuted sexual assaults in the same span of time because I'm pretty sure the proportions will shock you. Because I am seriously so fucking tired of being responsible for not getting raped. You also sick and tired of being responsible for not getting pickpocketed, burglarized, murdered, conned into giving away your personal information in an effort to steal your identity? Why don't we just tell all the would-be criminals that crime is bad, then hold their hands and sing kumbaya around some plastic flickering candle for good measure? Because that'll work, right? <laughs> um, um, ex excuse me, Mr. Mr. Hitler? Um, Adolf Hitler? What? You remember all those Jews you gassed? Um, yes. Yeah, gassing Jews is not even an option. You just stop! But it was my only option. Why did you do this? You know better, right? Why? It was the final solution. <laughs> if you like what I'm doing with this channel, I would ask you to consider maybe supporting me on Patreon or through my Teespring store. I have a lot of awesome merch there. Please do like, comment, subscribe, and definitely share. Thank you.